forms in a database do sometimes a better job than queries. So I want you to know how to create a form like this. It shows for years certain products and how they sold in quarter one, two, three, four. Uh, what is the advantage of a form that you can filter much easier? So let's say we only want the year 1995. So we click in anywhere in that field, in that column, and we filter. And we say we want only 1995. And we get all the sales for 1995, quarter one through four. And then we can further filter. When I click in the quarter one column and I filter again, I could say, for instance, I want only sales that are greater than 5,000 or whatever you choose. And you will see that the total at the bottom updates. And we can do the same for quarter two. Again, you click there, then you click on filter, you make a number filter greater than 5,000. And this all goes pretty fast. And you do this for quarter three and quarter four. The question is, how do you get such a form? It is definitely based on a query. But the query is what they call a cross-tab query. So, when I go to that query, you have to make sure that it has the correct calculations in there. Partly easy, sometimes not as easy as it looks. So I'm going to the design screen. These are my three tables. They are properly connected through their IDs, primary key, foreign key, primary key, foreign key. And the first field is a calculated field. I'm going to zoom in and blow the font up so you can see it better. It creates a new field name, year colon, and then it uses the date part function. It wants only the year part. You have to put that inside double quotes. If you want the month part, you, you type one single M inside of that, based on the field order date. Okay. Then we make this a cross-tab query by going to cross-tab. So we have a totals row group by that year and put that in the row heading, for instance. Product name, group by, we put that also in the row heading. You can add more fields in the rows, but not more than one in the column. In the column, we added this calculation, quarter equals the word quarter, space, ampersand, space, and then the date part function again, this time based on the quarter part, again, the field order date. And then finally, we did a calculation for the total of all the orders. Product sales is the sum function based on the order details of the unit price times the quantity. You have to make sure that this, the unit price comes from the correct table because there are two. You have to just make sure that the unit price comes from here and not from there. So how do you do that? Um, you can actually do that by going there and build. That is probably the easiest way. And then you build it from here. You say, I want it from the order details table. So you can select your database, then the tables, and you want to make sure that it's the order details table. And then you double click on the unit price and it will put that in there with the, the complete and correct address. Once you have done that, you get this end result. Once that is done, you are going to make a form based on this one. Of course, you can filter in here too, but it's, it's more clumsy and you have to keep changing the design of your screen. So let's not do that. How do we make a very quick form that uses that cross tab? You create a new form. I would suggest you use the form wizard because the form wizard allows you to select tables or queries as a basis. You want all these fields in there. Go to next. And in this case, don't make it columnar, but tabular or data sheet. That's up to you. But I recommend tabular because then you can put 
total calculations at the bottom. In a data sheet you, can't, you can, but they will not show. Give the thing a name and finish. And it will look like this. The only thing you have to do now, before we start filtering, is add calculations at the bottom. So we go to the design screen and we create a form footer. You just drag that borderline down and you insert from there, from the design tab, an A, B or a text box item. You click on it, you put it where you want it, and click. And then you are going to put, instead of unbound, you are going to put a formula in there. I, I did that already, so I'm, I'm just going to show the end result. So this is the end result. And we go here, and then you will see that you put in there a very simple formula or equation equals the sum function based on the field quarter 1, sum quarter 2, sum quarter 3, sum quarter 4. And that gives you a beautiful end result. So now you can just filter as much as you want. And you get basically a cross-tab query in the form of a form. And the form has many advantages. You can sort easily if you say I want them not in an alphabetical order, but by the amount of money that is possible too. Then you just sort them ascendingly. Click first on the field where you want it, and you sort them ascendingly. You see the power of forms sometimes. Uh, queries are beautiful, but they have certain limitations.